Uh, the Reiterate Costume Contest, downtown Evansville. Pay attention, Allie. Uh, you've got, if you've got a dog, family, kids, dress them up, take them down Main Street, 300 block of Main. That is where the costume contest is, on, at 1 o'clock on Saturday. All right, here's what we're looking at right now. It is a dr gray, dreary day now, but I do expect to see a few breaks in the clouds this afternoon, a little bit of sunshine out there, and we had that chilly rain this morning, but keep in mind, the worst of the day has come and gone as far as the rain is concerned. And even people who like rainy days, I can't imagine. You stepped outside this morning with that chilly rain falling and thought, this is glorious. I don't think so. Maybe it looked glorious from inside, you know, your house when you're looking out the window if you like the rain, but yeah, it was not fun to be out in, that's for sure. Here's downtown Owensboro. It's dried up a little bit too. Nice to see the puddles off the road on Highway 41. Hey, there goes a FedEx truck. You've got a delivery. Uh, it could be headed your way. He's heading for Evansville and the Twin Bridges right now. As we see Evansville off in the distance, now it's front and center. And that's our superior ag camera on top of Fifth Third Bank. 52 degrees right now. The wind southeast at 6. And it was east this morning. It's going to be east-southeast throughout the day, but mainly southeast from here on out. 5 to 15 miles an hour, so pretty good wind kicking out there. Temperatures all in the 50s and ranging uh, through the low and mid-50s. It's 50 degrees right now in Lagodi, uh, 51 degrees in Princeton, 52 in Jasper, 53 in Santa Claus, 54 in Owensboro, 55 for Mama and Calhoun. It's 56 degrees in Greenville. No 57. Yes, we do. 57 in Princeton, Kentucky, and 58 degrees in Morgantown. It's almost spanning the 50s. I think we top out with a little bit of sunshine this afternoon in the low 60s, or at least right around 60 degrees for a high. So feel pretty confident about that. At least we're getting a break from the rain right now. Most of us are. A little bit of rain still out there. Show your radar in a second. First of all, I want to show you this. Uh, this is from yesterday. Brent Payne. Shout out to Brent. He went out to see the Penguins of Patagonia and the new feature there at the Mesker Park Zoo. And Brent got this shot of the penguins out there swimming in the water. Love this. Uh, basically, the rocks in the water. And I love the penguins, of course. 14, I believe, penguins is what we have out at Mesker Park Zoo. I got to go check them out pretty soon. Brent, thank you so much for the picture. My first warning to the radar, a little bit of light rain down to the south of the Ohio and even a little bit to the north. Most of the rain, though, is to the east and well to the north of the tri-state. And it's trucking up uh, to the northwest. It's wrapping around an area of low pressure, which is out in Missouri. I'll show you that here in a second as far as the bigger picture. But right now, let's take a look at what we've got going on across the area. A little bit of light rain again about to trickle into the Owensboro area. We've had some moderate pockets of rain just to our east, and we had plenty of moderate rain earlier today. Now we're just seeing mainly light rain cutting across the area. Most of the rain, Hancock, Davis, and Perry counties. But lifting north, it'll be in Spencer County here fairly soon. Looks like another little shot of rain uh, for you in around the Santa Claus area anyway. All right, here's the estimated Doppler rainfall. And it's over the past 24 hours. Basically, it is this morning. And we've got some pretty good pockets of rain out there, almost in a line north to south, starting with the north first. Little pocket of rain uh, just off to the east of Princeton right there. 1.6 inches of rain estimated there in Gibson County. As we go farther to the south, look at this little pocket right smack dab, boom, on Henderson. Nearly an inch and a half of rain there. Let's go farther on down to the south and to the southeast. Uh, this is in McLean County, just outside of Seabree and Webster County. Boom, 1.3 inches of rain there in the northwest corner. And then farther to the south, it looks like right here on the Muhlenberg and Hopkins County line. Pretty good little pocket of rain. 1.4 inches of rain. So some locations, a lot of locations saw more than an inch, and that's what you see in green, basically. And some locations, an inch and a half already today with more on the way. But at least, again, the worst is over. As we saw that wave kind of push through this morning, tough morning commute, I know. Still plenty of clouds out there. You can see that on satellite. I expect to see a few breaks. We're noticing a few breaks off to the west, too. So uh, just be patient, and hopefully a little sunshine will head your way later today. There's that area of low pressure rotating counterclockwise in Missouri. That low is going to take its sweet time working its way to the east and it's going to be trudging its way across the tri-state and giving us a chance for rain throughout. And really the best chance for heavier rain is when that low is either on top of you or to the west of you in this scenario. Once it gets to the east, you get the wraparound, although there's plenty of wraparound rain behind that low. It looks pretty impressive there around the Kansas City area. We're not alone. Obviously, this low pressure system is impacting much of the midsection of the country. They've seen some severe weather along the Gulf Coast in the past 24 hours. Now it looks like that line of showers and thunderstorms is trucking through Florida and off the coast and good riddance to that. Here's what it looks like on Future Tracker, kind of timing things out over the next couple of days. When we saw the heavier rain lift to the north, Future Track a little slow in pushing it up to the north. Noticing a few breaks, though, between one, two o'clock 
o'clock in the afternoon. A few showers out there kind of dotting the landscape. And then by 4 or 5 o'clock, here comes another wave, a smaller wave, though, but still some moderate to heavy pockets of rain pushing in. Might hear a few rumbles of thunder out there with this batch that moves through late afternoon, early evening as it lifts to the north. And then we have a few more breaks out there in the clouds, too. And overnight, just a few showers out and about. And then we've got the scattered showers for Friday but not nearly as widespread as what we had today. And here we are at 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, looking pretty good. However, as we work our way into evening, the latest run of Future Tracker, which was indicating quite a bit of rain for the football games on Friday, now indicating the rain holding off until later uh, Friday night into Saturday, at least the heavier rain. Still a chance for a few showers out there for your football Friday. Just a heads up. But you can see that pocket, or really a mass of heavier rain moving in from the north at 6 o'clock on Saturday morning. And then the rain should taper off after that. So it's kind of pushing back the heavier rain. And again, that's good news for the football games. But I'd still take an umbrella. As we take a look at the rainfall forecast for the next couple of days, uh, we're looking at anywhere from about a half an inch to an inch of rain on top of what we've already had. And in some locations, already better than an inch. Here's my forecast for today. I'm calling for a high of 62 degrees, clouds, some sunshine. I'm banking on a few breaks in, uh, breaks in the clouds later on this afternoon uh, with a cool east southeast wind at around 5 to 15 miles an hour. And again, the best chance for rain has already come and gone, but we are going to be seeing it looks like another line kind of moving in uh, late afternoon, early evening, giving us a decent shot for rain then. All right, a forecast of high yesterday of 64, got up to boom, 63. That's a three degree guarantee winner. Boom. Jimmy Vitito of Evansville, congratulations. You have the Ackerman Chiropractic Umbrella. It's waiting for you here at the station. Just come on by and pick that up. Here's a seven-day forecast, and we're noticing temperatures staying around 60 degrees over the next three days. That's what I'm looking at anyway. And temperature lows are going to be in the 50s, so not too bad as far as the lows are concerned. As we head toward Halloween, still a chance for a little bit of rain on Saturday morning. It's going to taper off in the afternoon. Maybe a few clouds first thing on Sunday morning, but by the afternoon for trick-or-treating, it's looking good. Sun Sunshine, 63 degrees. I like what I see there, Angie, for Halloween. And of course, temperatures next week will be cooler in the 50s. And the next week, Monday, is the first day, of course, of November. So November kind of starting out typically chilly. Chili. Chili, let's, chili. Let's, let's get some chili. Chili okay. sounds like a let's good thing get to some have. Chili. I'm going to have some chili on Saturday night. So my sister's whipping up a big old batch mm, of that. So good. I can't wait to get that. All right, this is a cool shot from Paula Quisenberry. And this was taken Gorgeous. yesterday as the high clouds moved in ahead of the rain. There's the sun. And if you look, look off to the that. left, you've got that little sun dog. It's almost like a little slice of a rainbow off to the west or, or off to the left of that. And that is considered a sun dog. So that's a war, an award winning photograph. Thank you There's so much, Paula. Beautiful. Yes. Thank you. Paula. We'll be back with more lifestyles. Our fashion guru coming up.